Good day, McVeigh, and happy Friday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Okay, let's get to our birthday list for today and the weekend. Let's see. Happy birthday today to Salveer Singh in our second grade, Winston Zhang in our second grade, Jacob Chimadian in our first grade, and Wilson Lau in our second grade. Let's see. On well, tomorrow, happy birthday to Agnes Paniker in our fourth grade and Nick Pastor in our fourth grade. And on Sunday, happy birthday to Diana O'Connell in our second grade and the, uh, Mia von Massenbach in our fifth grade. Okay, lunch for today, friends, is, you guessed it, pizza. We also have the Boar's Head Turkey and Cheese Bento Box, grilled cheese, and bagel lunch. Now, I have a couple of exciting things to announce today, but first, next week is our Earth Week celebration at McVeigh, and so we have two special guests today with us from the Earth Savers Club. We have Fardine and Melanie. Come on over, Fardine and Melanie. Beginning Monday of next week, our school will be celebrating McVeigh Earth Week. Each day, we will have announcements on how we can make make a difference and help our environment. There are things we can do every day that will save our Earth. Keeping our world clean and healthy is a big job, and even you might think it, it is too big for anyone to make a difference, but even the little things we do mean a lot to our planet. Each day next week, we are all invited to wear a different color to remember different ways we can help the Earth starting with wearing red on Monday. This will remind us of how we can put our hearts into protecting our planet. So remember, wear red on Monday and let's celebrate Earth Day every day. Ah, thank you to Fardine and Melanie, and we'll hear more about our Earth each day on the morning announcements. Yeah, so next week is Earth Week. We're very excited. Each day we'll wear a different color and we'll be thinking about how we can be kind to the earth. We talk about that every day, but next week we'll be talking about it even more. Okay, so let's get to our wordle today. Uh-oh, so what is it? Ah, so if you said honesty, you're right. So if we were to take a look at all of the clues that I gave you. So I said we had a silent letter. Uh, oop, doesn't write. Okay, that was the H. Then we had a blend, st, S-T. I also said that we had the most common vowel. And this letter can sometimes be a vowel, sometimes be a consonant. That's a Y. If I take away the Y, this word goes from being a noun to be an adjective. Honesty is something. It's a person, place, or thing. Honesty is a thing. If I take away the why, being honest describes somebody, that's an adjective. Now, I talked about these two letters being two of the most used consonants, and they are. The other most used consonant is in our mystery number, but honest and honesty is an important thing, especially if you're a mighty kind, mighty mind. When you are kind, you are honest as well. When you are a mighty mind, you are honest as well. And sometimes, you know, you don't really like the truth. Sometimes you do something that you really shouldn't. Something happens, you don't want anybody to know. It's always better to just tell the truth. Be honest. 
being honest is being kind to yourself because it's about your personality and who you are inside. When you are an honest person, people give you honesty and they trust you. Trust is the most important thing that you can have because that will mean you'll have good friends. You'll have, get a good job because somebody will want you to work for them. Trust, and it all comes from this. So if you're a mighty kind, mighty mind, you always are honest, which means <clears throat> that you have honesty. Okay, now our mystery number. Here we are. So we had a couple of good clues here. We had this number. Um, the word has the most common vowel, which we know is E. It also has the most common consonant, which we know is R. Then I said that this, if I skip counted by tens, I would get to this number, which makes this a zero. If I skip count by tens, the last digit will always be a zero if I start at zero. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all of those numbers have a zero at the end. So my mystery number was 130, and so many of you got it. Full classes got it. I have stacks and stacks of post-it notes. And by the way, even though I don't read all of the names, I do look at them all, and I'm so proud of all of you who turned them in. Good work. Now, our... Get Smart Project today is coming to us from Agamvir Singh, and I'm not going to go through all of it because there's a lot, but he did a project on physics. So physics has to do with how uh, different parts of our world really work. So forces and energy, velocity, um, mechanics. So today we're going to go through something very simple that Agamir shared with us. So let's pretend you wanted to figure out how fast you run or how fast the car is driving. How would you know? So figuring out how fast something goes or its velocity, velocity means how fast something goes, you take how far it went, did it go one mile, did it go two miles, and how long did it take to get there? So if I go one mile and it takes me 10 minutes, am I going faster or slower than if it takes me 20 minutes? If it took me 10 minutes and not 20 minutes, I went faster. That means I had a greater, a larger velocity. I was going faster. So that's a formula, distance divided by time. And so in our book about physics, which has chapters by Eggenberg, we are learning about how things work. And really knowing all these things helps us to be an inventor. So we're going to do more of this, but not today, because we're already a little bit past our time. So now it's time for a mighty kind moment of the day. Let's get a drum roll. Da, da, da. So today's mighty kind moment of the day is going out to Evan Aracena. Firstly, it wasn't Eric. It was Evan who turned in the dollar, who was honest, who had honesty. And moreover, now he's getting a second shout out. Why? Because he's not even the one who told me it wasn't him. Imagine that. Uh-huh. So, Evan, firstly, I'm sorry. And secondly, super duper. So, you have about 10 shout-outs for not only doing the right thing, being honest, but being humble and not bragging. Good work, Evan. Why? Because you're a mighty mind. Not only that, mighty kind, mighty mind. And every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.